So the FDA just approved as of September 26, 2024, a brand new antipsychotic. And those of us in the medical world, doctors, pharmacists, pharmaceutical scientists, we know that the, that the last antipsychotic drug to be released was about 20 years ago. And all of those drugs prior to this one, Cobenfi, have all worked on dopamine in some way. So they're called D2 or dopamine receptor 2 antagonists. Cobenfi is a combination drug that works in a totally different mechanism. So I'll go ahead and read the article published by the FDA.gov. I'll, pu I'll publish the, the website in the description below. Please check it out. Always read primary sources, guys. That's my number one advice as, as a doctor. Uh, but let's 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 go ahead because this is groundbreaking news, and I really hope to share this information with as many people as possible. Because schizophrenia sucks, all right? Like schizophrenia is a horrible disease. Okay, so this is on the FDA.gov.gov. Uh, the FDA approves drug with new mechanism of action for treatment of schizophrenia for immediate release September 26, 2024. I'm about two days late, but I saw this the night of September 26. All right, so today the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved Cobenfi, which is basically xanomaline and trospium chloride, meaning a combination pill, capsules for oral use for the treatment of schizophrenia in adults. It is the first antipsychotic drug approved to treat schizophrenia that targets cholinergic receptors as opposed to dopamine receptors, which has long been the standard of care. Schizophrenia is a leading cause of disability worldwide. It is a severe chronic mental illness that is often damaging to a person's quality of life, said Tiffany Farchione, MD, Director of the Division of Psychiatry, Office of Neuroscience in the FDA Center for Drug Evaluation and Research. This drug takes the first approach to schizophrenia treatment in decades. This approval offers a new alternative to the antipsychotic medications people with schizophrenia have previously been prescribed. Schizophrenia can cause psychotic symptoms including hallucinations such as hearing voices, so those are called auditory hallucinations. More severe forms, as we all know from popular media, can cause visual hallucinations, um, delusions, and also uh, delusions of grandeur as well. There, there's, you know, when I did my psychiatry rotations, in medical school and residency, it's it's very bizarre and and absolutely heartbreaking to know that these are regular people, right? Like they were all born the same, like they were children, and then suddenly over time they just become worse and worse with this mental illness. If it if it's if it's untreated, if it's unmanaged. Okay, so schizophrenia can also be asso associated with cognitive problems and difficulty with social interactions and motivation. About 1% of Americans have schizophrenia, and globally it is one of the 15 leading causes of disability. I actually didn't know that. That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty substantial. Individuals with schizophrenia are at greater risk of dying at a younger age, and nearly 5% die by, by suicide. Cobenfi's effectiveness for the treatment of schizophrenia in adults was evaluated in two studies with identical designs. Study 1 and Study 2 were five-week randomized double-blind placebo-controlled multi-center studies in adults with a diagnosis of schizophrenia according to the DSM-5 criteria. The primary efficacy measure was the change from baseline in the positive and negative syndrome scale, also known as PANSS, total score at week 5. The PANS is a 30-item scale that measures symptoms of schizophrenia. Each item is rated by a clinician on a 7-point scale. In both studies, the participants who received Cobenfi experienced a meaningful reduction in symptoms from baseline to week 5, as measured by the PANS total score compared to the placebo group. The prescribing information includes warnings that Cobenfi can cause urinary retention, increased heart rate, decreased gastric movement, or even angioedema, which is swelling beneath the skin um, of the face and lips. Cobenfi is not recommended for patients with mild hepatic or liver impairment. It should not be used in patients with a known hepatic impairment. There is also a risk of liver damage. Patients should stop using Cobenfi if experiencing signs or symptoms of substantial liver disease, including yellowing of the skin, or the white part of the eyes, dark urine, and, explained, and unexplained itching. 
Cobenfi is substantially excreted by the kidney and is not recommended in patients with moderate to severe renal impairment. I actually have a video on knowing your medication. So all, all of you doctor, all of us doctors out there, watch that video. It'll basically explain why renally dosing medications should be the standard. All right, Cobenfi should not be prescribed to patients with urinary retention, moderate or severe kidney or liver disease, gastric retention, untreated narrow angle glaucoma, or a history of hypersensitivity to either Cobenfi or its components. The most common side effects of Cobenfi are nausea, indigestion, constipation, vomiting, hypertension, abdominal pain, diarrhea, tachycardia, dizziness, and gastroesophageal reflux disease. The approval of Cobenfi was granted to Bristol Myers Squibb Company. So, you know, my closing thoughts on this is I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, this, again, is a brand new antipsychotic drug. So I hope you guys, you know, internalize what I mean by that. So dr antipsychotic drugs like Haldol um, and what was the other one, Thorazine, um, these have all worked on the exact same principle, the exact same what we call mechanism of action. So basically the way it works is that it just antagonizes dopaminergic receptors. And so, you know, a good analogy that I read on Reddit, I believe, like back when I was in med school, is the way that, the way that a lot of mental illness is treated by drugs is that you, you open up the hood of your, you open up the hood of your car and you just pour fluid, like you pour oil all over the engine, the, the front, and hopefully some, hopefully some of that fluid will go into the, I'm, I'm not a car guy, like into the oil compartment uh, of the car. So we don't, as of 2024, we don't have a way to do directly affect the particular regions of the brain like it's not it's not entire lobes but it's very specific cortices like corta it's like for example the insular cortex there's a lot of activity there um the amygdala you know ptsd etc has a lot of activation of the the two amygdala um so we don't have a targeted system yet am i hopeful for that yes i am i'm i'm a futurist i'm into the works of ray kurzweil uh, future timeline, you know, my colleague, Dr. Peter Diamandis, I'm into their works. I know what's going on in the nano medicine field, in the biotech field. Um, but it's, it, it's still a long ways away. It, this basically works on the muscarinic receptors um, of acetylcholine. So, so that's the difference. So, you know, instead of instead of targeting dopaminergic receptors, it's targeting acetylcholine receptors, um, and it's an agonist. It's a different set of receptors that are being affected here. But the way that our, our current theory of mental illness is that there's an imbalance of, you know, serotonin, dopamine, acetylcholine, um, all, all of the neurotransmitters, or basically brain chemicals um, in the brain. So like a lot of drugs like Haldol, Thorazine, um, you know, these are even SSRIs, SNRIs for depression and anxiety. They basically work on trying to recalibrate the, ba the sensitive balance of these different, um, these different neurotransmitters. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, like, and subscribe, please share our channel. We're almost at 100, which is phenomenal. So yeah, so any support would be great. Um, you know, normally we do medical legal tips and advice, but you know, I love doing these like current medical news topics. I'll, I'll do more if you guys want more. Um, and yeah, if, if there's any suggestions, any comments, please leave them below. Um, I just got a new setup, so hopefully this looks better. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for your support. And yeah, until next time, this is Dr. Mazan from Dr. Mazan Coaching. Take care.